<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. Listen, the the fucking the NBA had that mobbed up ref, and he said that he fucked the Warriors out of, and I mean the uh, the Kings out of that series against the Lakers. No one's going to take the fucking Lakers title away for what that happened? year. Really? Yeah. Is that real? Yeah. What is it? He was a referee who was fucking fixing games. No. Yep. Really? That's how much you don't watch sports. Either. I don't watch sports no, at all. No, it was fixed. Tim Donahue, a hundred percent of NBA refs gamble. What? <laughs> What? That's no, crazy. But he's also like he's in jail now. He's just trying to say shit. But like I don't. Th this is the guy that was the ref that was in jail. Yeah, but like he he is that him right there? Yeah, he fixed game. He used to say from yeah. in jail. He goes, "You tell me who's ref in the game, and I'll tell you who wins." Wow. He spent 15 months in prison after pleading guilty to two charges of case. He's out free. How much did he, you think he made? He joined uh. Colin Car oh, Colin Cowherd. Wednesday afternoon, had a fascinating answer when asked what percentage. He said 100. Wow. No, that's, no. No? Nope. no. Not I true? No, that's just, that's just a fucking jailbird talking. I used to gamble on Fight UFC fights guess. way back in the early days. When I first started working for them, I was like, who gives a shit? I can't really affect the outcome. So, like, in many, many years ago, like, I would, right. they would, they'd bring in these guys. Like, they'd bring in some guy from, like, Brazil that I knew about. And I would look at the line, and I'd be like, you guys are out of your fucking mind. This guy should be like a 10 to 1 favorite. And you got him an underdog? I'm like, ooh, I'm putting some money on that. And I'd put some money on it. But then after a while, I was like, this is probably not smart. You know? I don't think it's illegal, because I can't it's affect- It's not good for the company. No. It's also not good for me, if I come off as biased anyway. You know? I've been accused of being a biased <laughs> commentator anyway. Even worse. He didn't tap out. Come on. Yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> come on. Yeah. But, um- that's a that's a different kind of thing though. Gambling when you're a referee is a big deal. Yeah, and that's a game that's easily fixed. How do they fix it? What do they do? Because you can you can take stars out of the game by giving them fouls. Oh, is that what they did? Yeah. So just, what did this guy just, mobbed up guy you just, do? You just sit people down. It's just like if you're the best player on the team in the first quarter, I give you two quick fouls. I'm not going to see you again until the second quarter. And I've never fixed a fucking game, but I mean, I'm just you know, I'm just. I give you another one in the second quarter. I don't see you till the next half. And at some point, you're going to get mad. If I keep calling bullshit fouls, I might get you on a technical foul. That saves me a ticky-tack foul. And uh. then that counts towards your fouls. And then two fouls, uh, two technicals, you're out of the game. You're ejected. So was it um, obvious that this guy was doing fouls? That he was, like, I thought it was obvious fouls? that the NBA was kind of fixed for a while. Like, I was sitting going like, yeah, I just, I went to a game one time. The Celtics versus Utah Jazz. And I'm watching the fucking game and, like, just like... The game starts, they're letting them play, and then they're calling it tight, and then they're letting them play, then they're calling it tight. And it's like there was never an ebb and flow in how they were calling the game. It's like a, a, an umpire. You know, you see in the first inning, the guy will step out of the box going, okay, that's a strike tonight? Okay, cool. Just finding out where your strike zone is. But like an umpire, you, you, if you start changing the strike zone, kind of changing sports on you here. Like, right. It's like people are going to know, like, what the fuck's going on? you got to be consistent. So like with – um. NBA refs, NBA games, you would watch, and it's just like, oh, they're calling it close tonight. Oh, he's letting the boys play. And, like, that was the game. Uh. They wouldn't just keep – obviously, if it got really out of hand, they would tighten down. But I never saw a game where it was just like you're pulling back on the range, you're letting them run, you're pulling back, you're letting them run. And it just made me feel like they were shaving points or something. I remember for years I said the game was fixed, and – um Everybody said I was out of my fucking mind. And then they find a guy who's all mobbed up. And I go, damn, vindication. They go, oh, it's just one guy. Now, when you say mobbed up, like, how was he mobbed up? What was, what was the issue with that guy? It's just an expression. I don't want to get know. in trouble with anybody. But he was basically working for other people that uh, were part of a gambling that took, uh, you know, bookies or whatever. Right. And he did something to make sure that the, the game leaned in that direction. Yeah. Like, you couldn't totally fix it. So if a team was favored by eight and they wanted him to win by eight, he'd make sure it happened. Or probably It's probably easier to make sure they didn't by fucking over their offense. And then they would just, you know, they try to get money. Like, look, if you're a legit bookie, all you're trying to do is get an even amount of money on each side. Right. Okay? Because with the combination of people teasing and plus the juice – and all of that, you're, you're going to end up on top. You don't want a bunch of money all on one side and losing your fucking shirt. So what these guys would do is you get greedy after a while. It's like, I'm sick of this ticky-tack shit. Let's go for a big fucking score. They wouldn't do it every game. They just, every once in a while, be like, all right, listen, here's a game. Probably, you know, I don't, I don't know. I've never fixed a fucking game. I'm just guessing how they would go about doing it. But fix this one. 
All right, make sure these guys don't don't, don't win by eight. So did this guy admit that he fixed it? Yeah, oh yeah, he went to jail. He went so, to jail. but he went to jail for yeah. gambling on it, right? But did he no, go he to went, jail, he went for to jail for fixing for it. fixing it. So what what did he say? He said like he made fouls that weren't really fouls. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you do you would do yeah. all yeah, whatever he had to do. This is what his uh, attorney submitted, saying the manipulation that happened during one game. Mm, okay, so it was officiating a playoff series between Team Five and Team Six in May of two thousand two is a six game of a seven game series. And a Team 5 victory that night would have ended the series. However, Tim learned from referee A that referees A and F wanted to extend the series to seven games. Tim knew referees A and F to be company men, in quotes, uh, always acting in the interest of the NBA. <clears throat> and that night, it was in the NBA's interest to add another game. So the NBA wanted to fix it. Yeah, for what? Oh, the NBA fixed it. Referees A and F heavily favored Team Six. Personal fouls resulting in obviously injured players were ignored, even when they occurred in full view of the referees. Conversely, the referees called made up fouls on Team Five. Look up the highlights of the Lakers uh, wow. Kings game. It was ridiculous, the fouls that they were calling. But that's my thing is when they said it was just one guy, it's like, how long could you be on an officiating crew while the, in, in one of your guys is dirty? Before you'd realize, like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. Well, what about the guys that were betting on the other team? I'd want to kill that fucking referee. Can you imagine if you saw him call fouls that weren't really fouls and you well, knew what was also, going on? You knew your money was going out the window? But I think they're really susceptible to it because, like, the amount of money that NBA players make is fucking insane. Right. They make, like, you know, some of the contracts that they have coming up. And there's, and so, there's so few guys on the team. And there's, like... Every year, the draft is like two rounds in the draft. Like, fucking NFL goes on forever. There's 40 something guys on a team in the NFL. There's 20 something in baseball, 20 something in, uh, in the NHL. And I think, I think basketball, it's no more than 11 or 12 guys. So it's a very small group of people. And the income that they're generating, like their revenue share, I don't know how, it's all, that's all like super sports nerd shit. Like, I don't know how that works, but some of the contracts that they, that some of these guys have been signing, like they can afford to fucking pay that guy that. So now you're a ref and you're running with your fucking black aerobic Reebok sneakers up and down the court, you know, <laughs> the Velcro and, and, closures. And, and, yeah. Yes. And you're seeing the cars these guys are getting in and all the women hanging out and you're on the stage too. You're running up and down. No one gives a fuck about you. And uh, I don't know what the pension is for the NBA, but like, if I was in the NBA, I would, if I was running, I'd be like, we got to fucking triple these guys' salary. Is this the salaries of the players yes, or the uh, referees? NBA players' salaries for right, right now. What about it's the referees, though? Oh, so look at that. Way less. Thirty-five million a year for LeBron. That's Ooh. just that's just what he makes to play hoop. Right. Not about but the like sneakers. But like most most of their sneaker contracts are like more than what they make. It's fucking nuts. <sighs> It's nuts. It's a lot of cash. Hey, good for them. I'm yeah. not. I'm not like saying they should make the money. Obviously, if people are putting it out there, earning it for them. But like, so, find, can you put up? Find Jamie, out what, what a ref makes. Yeah. Do you know who Mike Conley is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's hilarious. I only know like the biggest guys. Like that Mike Conley. Someone go, ooh, that's Mike Conley. Like, I don't know who, who the fuck's that. I don't guy? know who that is either. Guy made thirty million dollars last year. He's oh. the highest paid player in the NBA. He's because of contract. There's a guy named Mike Conley. Yeah, he was. He's the he's starting the point guard for the Memphis Gri Grizzlies. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's but it's why just a matter of time. Like his contract came up at the time last year, and the uh, when the rest of the guys are going to get more this coming year and the following year, the TV contracts have gone up, and there's a percentage they're going up each year based off of the TV rights, and that's why it. I watched uh, almost every Celtic game last year. I never heard Mike Con. Mike Conley. That sounds like a fucking he politician. He went to Ohio State. Same year as Greg Oden, who was that oh, big did. bust, and he was yep. his point guard. Is he still playing in China or no? No, he's uh, actually Ohio State assistant coach right now. He went back to school for playing in China. That's when it gets weird, right? And you got to go overseas to Europe. And you're playing for a hundred grand a year. And you're like, oof. I don't know. Sometimes if you're famous enough, they'll they'll give you a little more. I don't know how that works either. I don't know how a lot of shit works. I just know I have a show coming out called F is for Family. For That's why I'm family. here. The average salary of the NBA <clears> rep <throat> is from 150 grand to 550 grand. That's a big spread. What about the guy who's making the extra four? How's he getting extra four? Average salaries have spiked considerably since 1983 when NBA officials made between 18000 and 78000 each season. 550 grand is not bad. That's a lot of scratch. So you'd have to give them enough money where they don't feel tempted to cheat, right? Yeah. That's yeah. the problem with politicians. Right. You make 550 grand a year, you're making 50 grand a year more than the president. <laughs> so you're kind of like those guys are like set up to be like here's a job that cost a hundred million to get, 
and you're going to get paid 500 grand. So yeah. you're just setting them up to have to cut deals with people. 